what's up? Man, that uh, new voice thing's driving me crazy. Every time I turn the Zoom on, this meeting is being recorded. I don't know if anybody's noticed that. But what's happening, everybody? Carmen Disco here with Launch Network on the Launchpad. What's happening? Hey, guys, listen, I got a really cool show. I don't usually record. It's a Friday, day before holiday. But we've got some really cool stuff happening. I got my friend Dara over here. And we are going to just sit down and talk because every time I talk to her, it's a lot of fun. Dara, what's going on? Hey, my friend, you know, just living the dream. Just yeah. living the dream. Yeah, we were just talking over there. You're over there in the Orlando area. And, man, you know, Disney's not skipping a beat. They're filled. They're capacitated out. They are. They're capacitated out. Masks are gone, except if you went inside of an attraction. Other than that, they're like, come on. Come to Florida. Come play. Come stay. Come have fun. That's what it's all about. You know, it's funny that um, – that Disney like that, but, but in reality, it's a huge business running that type of, I mean, there's some smart people that are running Disney. I mean, I know you were there, everybody, but it, it's a serious business. I know everybody's having fun there, but man, talk about a big business. Well, not only is it a big business, but I got to tell you, like more so than ever before, the business of just relaxation, entertainment, vacation, never been more heightened. When you get told you can't go on vacation, you know, it's different, right? Like if you're like, I want to go on vacation. I don't really have enough time. I don't really have enough money. I don't really know where I want to go. The decision's yours. But when you're told, um, I don't care if you want to go, you can't go, then it becomes like, I didn't know how much I missed it or how much <laughs> I want it. So the fact that Disney is here, Dis I mean, literally, I am within like six miles of Walt Disney World, Universal, SeaWorld, even, even over Bush Gardens. This whole, we call it the I-4 parking lot, has been packed yeah. with cars. And every possible state other than Florida has been coming in, going on vacation. And I said this to my husband the other day. This is no joke. We were on I-4 and I said, you know what? I have never been more happy to sit in traffic and wait with people like not knowing what exit they're going off on and blinkers on constantly or hazards going. I've never been more happy because I know people are like, I'm on vacation. I can get out. I'm like, come on, we're open. <laughs> that is true everyone i talk to they're hating me and hating florida because they're stuck they're on all the place um and, and you know like you said they're venturing they're coming down here i mean florida's packed with people it's been insane and i'm just kind of glad like you said florida is on the cutting edge we're always ready to do it and it's a great place to live yeah it's a really great place to live as we know because lots of people are moving here yes yes no <laughs> doubt about it <laughs> well, let's let's switch over to you. I mean, you always have really cool stuff going on. What's happening with you? I know that you got a lot of things. You do consulting work. You work with inventors sometimes now. Are you venturing out of the product development side? Well, it's funny you said that. You know, it's like you can take the girl out of the product development, but you can't take the product development out of the girl. Like, that's <laughs> just kind of it, right? So while I, I know you, you laugh on my little sayings, but while I'm not like in the trenches day to day, like I used to be when I worked at HSN or even post that when I worked with venture capitalists, even though I'm not necessarily into that day to day, I still have my tentacles and my pulse on it. So um, I'm with a former uh, Disney executive group it's called the Magic Makers and they're fantastic. It's a group of consultants, but more than anything, it's just that we're a whole bunch of former Disney executives that have come together that we talk a lot. We kind of keep ourselves up the pulse of what's going on in the world. It's all walks of business, all walks of life from the Disney company. And so there's lots of times we get people that are coming in asking us for advice and such. And so we still kind of help a little bit, you know, giving advice and giving just direction and thoughts about products and services. So we kind of do that a little bit. I'm working with a really great company called Echelon. It's a uh, I'm home it's a home fitness gym facility. So it's like you can have your own home fitness. It's equipment for the masses. So it's rowers, treadmills, bikes, unbelievable. And so home fitness up, you know, over 600% year over year, especially due to the pandemic. So people are like, I don't maybe even really want to go back to my gym now because I have my gym now at home. So I'm working with them. Yeah. And then my friend Joy Mangano calls me. So that is what I am here to talk to you all about is with what my friend Joy called me about. 
And in case you don't know who Joy is out there in your listening world. Yeah. yeah. And if you don't, you have a serious issue. You're under a rock. <laughs> Get out and pay more attention to Carmine. <laughs> because Carmine tells you stuff that's real that's going on. I always say, why watch the news? Just listen to Carmine because he'll tell you everything you need to know. He's one stop shopping. Oh, Lord. You see what I'm saying? You're already You're on. Now. You, don't, you don't have to do that, but I, I love it. You're the guy. You are always. So I called you first. <laughs> I mean, literally, I texted you. I said, Carmine, I have got to talk to you about joy. I've you got did. to talk to you. We've got to talk to your listeners about joy. And you're like, set it up. Yep. I think that was two days ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the fastest podcast I've gotten. But but again, it's big news. I, I really was excited to talk with you about it. Yes. So you want me to reveal what we're talking about? Yes, please do. All right. So Joy Mangano, in case you don't know her, she is literally the mother of invention. She invented the Miracle Mop, the Huggable Hanger, so many unbelievable products. She was featured on not only QVC for years, but HSN still has her relationship there to debut new products. And if you didn't watch the movie Joy starring Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper, it was based on Joy Mangano's life. So if you haven't watched it, you've got to take, you got to do it this weekend, Memorial weekend. You got to do it. You got to snuggle up, watch it. The movie is called Joy. Um, got an Oscar nod for Jennifer Lawrence. Fantastic. But based on the trials and tribulation of this incredible female entrepreneur who created a product, just had to get somebody to watch her, someone to look at it, someone to listen. She was in Kmart parking lot demonstrating it. She was going everywhere just to get people to see her product when she finally had someone give her her big break. However, someone didn't give it to her. She pushed it. Mm -hmm. I mean, she got herself in there and made herself known. So often now you have entrepreneurs who go, I just need my big break. I've called everybody. They're not calling me back. I'm trying to do things. I just want someone to see my product. And she realized that. So she reached out to NBC Universal and or they reached out to her and said, Joy, we got, we got to we got to help Americans, especially coming off of last year and where so many small businesses took the big hit. And unfortunately, you know, Main Street America doesn't look the same that it used to look literally 18 months ago. So it's like, how can we help? How can we help build back the economy? How can we keep that spirit of the American dream alive? And we know a way. So coming this fall, you're going to be able to tune in and see America's big deal on TV. It's a live television show starring Joy Mangano and her friends and her friends are from major big box retailers it's all i'm allowed to say on that <laughs> one but every week will be live featuring at least five entrepreneurs who are just trying to get their big break and so we're going to let them come on air this is not you know we're going to tell you how bad your product is we're going to we're going to tell you that you've been you're in the wrong business. No, we're going to tell you we love it. We're here to help meet my friends. What deal are we going to make today? So that's part one of every episode. Wait, there's more. There is more. Part two of every episode is those entrepreneurs that are on air actually get to sell their product live. Oh, my God. That is crazy. So you want to talk about the world's largest purchase order will be buy this. It's for sale now. We'll probably have the big deal of the day, you know, really great price points to obviously get more people to be able to experience their products. But talk about giving you a national audience. You can demonstrate your product. You can sell your product. And then to have one of Joy's friends be like, I love you. I'm going to put you on shelves. It's just, it's feel good. It's, it's rooting for that American dream, that entrepreneur live on television, not nothing negative whatsoever, all about just building people up. And I got to tell you amazing products. Wow. That's awesome. You know what, what just from this, like so many things are popping in my head. One, it's scary enough to present your product to joy. You know, just say, 
you know, because, you know, her mind just works differently than everyone else. Just like she knows she can see it. But then you throw in the TV, you throw in the judge, you throw. But the, and then you put in the selling part. This is insane. Yes, it is. It is absolutely insane. And it's going to be incredible. And so we are right now taking submissions. And so she's asked me to look at product and as product comes in to kind of help gear her a little bit towards products. She obviously has an incredible keen eye, her and her team, Bobby and Christy and Matt, incredible keen eyes to look at the product as well. So it's kind of like all of us sort of together looking at the opportunities, looking at the products, what will America want to see? Um, and not only that, not only going through it, yes, there's the show component, right? You can only take so many people on every episode and every episode will be live every Thursday night, starting October 14th and primetime television. But not only that, but looking at these products to say, what else can we do? Even, even those that don't maybe make the show, what else can we do? She has such a passion for trying to help bring American, the American dream back to life in a bigger way, because I mean, let's be honest, it was decimated and devastation last year. Mm -hmm. So she's like, I need to do my part. So outside of the ones that make it to the show, we're even looking at what can we do outside of that? You know, how can we try to get them the exposure that they're craving? Wow. This is really big news. Um, there hasn't really been a show like this other than, um, the shark show, yeah. but yeah, there, but again, there really hasn't been anything like this yeah. because even, even that show, it's got ratings, it's got things, but usually the deals and things like that, you, you, even after they're done, you don't hear about them ever again. Right. Right. Well, and, and it's even more than that. If you, if you've watched the show and I, I was with the Walt Disney company when it launched, you know, on ABC. So I was right there. Sometimes P.S. I was in the wing. You don't even it. know this, but I was in the wing of the show looking as they came in to kind of give that filter of that merchandising kind of component. But if you watch the show at the very beginning to where it is now, it definitely is reality television mm. for the sake of entertainment. You know, I love the premise, which is we want to help you. Right. But at first it used to be the fun turkey baster that was wrapped in hot glue that it's like, <laughs> this is my idea. I yeah. patented it. I don't know how to make it. You know, and someone's looking at it going, I can help you. That's really cool. Now it's like, what's your largest purchase order and how many have you sold, you know, and, and, and can I, can I have a stake in it? And then I'm going to make it 10 times bigger than it already is. And that, I mean, which is still wonderful, but I think what that has done is it's caused a lot of people not to be able to apply because mm. now it's like, how big are you? How many purchase orders to where you almost wonder like, what are they going to do with the money if they get it? Cause they're yeah. already established. You know, many of them say, well, it's just to fulfill, you know, 50,000 more orders that I have. Yeah. Well, what about that person who is trying to get the 50,000 orders? Who's just trying to say, I have this. I think it's really cool. My friends like it. Maybe you will too. So yeah. it's not the turkey baster, you know, that's hot glued together. You have to be obviously farther along than that. Um, but we don't expect the multi, multi million dollars already in sales or even the thousands of dollars in sales. If you've got a great product, it has already been created. It's not prototype stage or back of a napkin. And even if you haven't sold any, but the pandemic prevented you from going to trade shows and demonstrating it and or getting your own purchase order fulfilled because factories were shut down, but now you're starting to receive your product and you haven't sold it, but you've got product. This is your show. Yeah. That's one of the, one of my questions I was going to ask, you know, what stage they should be in. And then when you said that sales side of it, yeah, people, you, you know, I want listeners out there to know you got to be ready. You got to be ready for this because that kind of stage, that kind of, um, you know, look from the right people. It, and it's not only life changing, but it could really be scary. Oh yeah, absolutely. It can be extremely scary and it's scary in a lot of different ways. You know, the biggest thing, the biggest thing that I always was faced with when I was out on the road, you know, talking to people or what have you, they would say to me, well, I really don't want to show anybody my idea because what if somebody steals it and knocks it off? <laughs> Nowadays, it's just, you know what? It's first of the dance. So if you've got it, show it, yeah. show it, 
debut it, sell it, you're the first to the dance. So at that point, you have already established yourself. You're out there. And that's the other really good benefit of this particular show is that you're going to be out. You're going to sell live on television. People are going to know your name. They're going to know your product. They're going to know your website. They're going to know all about you. So you know what? If someone decides six months, a year down the line to kind of knock you off, not that it happens, but let's say one out of the 100 does, you're already established. You're established, you're selling, you're out there, and you become known as the true brand. Kind of look at it like, you know, your favorite peanut butter. So let's say your favorite peanut butter is Peter Pan or Jiffy. Okay, there might be another one that's down the line, but you've already tasted Jiffy. You've already tasted Peter Pan. You love them. You're like, those are my peanut butters. I don't want to go with the imitation. I don't want to go with the next one. It's kind of the same thing with entrepreneurs. Yeah, no, there's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. And and I what I love about this is that you and I both know that some inventors or some people just sit back and go, nothing good is ever happening to me. They're, they're not making it happen. You know, it, people just don't come knock on your door when you're an inventor or product developer. <laughs> I want your product. But sometimes because we have this great idea, we think that's how it works, but it oh, yeah. doesn't. So the inventors, they have to make it happen. And this can really make it happen. Oh, a hundred percent. You know, I think what's really interesting is the point that you just said, which is, I think this is so amazing. The whole world is going to want it. And you're like, okay, but you know what? You have to tell the world it exists. And, and so often people won't go to trade shows. I love trade shows. Yeah. I have to tell you as a person who was always looking for the new invention, I walked every trade show, hardware, houseware, CES, made in America. I walked them all. Yeah. And when you walk them all, you kind of see amazing products that are out there. And then you're like, I'm going to, I, I want to do something with this. I want to do something with this. And if you're not there, you, you can't be found. That's kind of my big thing. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So you're sitting, you know, you're sitting in your office and your phone rings and Joy calls you and do you just go, oh my God, Joy's calling me. Or, you know, are you like, hey, Joy, what's happening? What, you know, what are we doing today? Yeah. Hey, Joy. Yeah. I'm on with Carmine. <laughs> he says hello. No, seriously. Yeah. 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 Okay. I'll be up next weekend by the pool. Yeah. Okay. We got it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> no, you're crazy. Um, yes. And no, I mean, I, I knew her from working at HSN, always admired her. She is brilliant. She is smart. She's energetic. She's everything that you would think she is on television is exactly how she is in real life. And so her children are very involved. And so I got to know Christy, uh, her oldest daughter, very, very well. And so Christy is, the, I literally was sitting here. I was like, oh, look at Christy. I got a phone call from Christy. It was either a phone call or an email. And maybe it was an email that we jumped on the phone. Um, and then literally within 24 hours, I was on with Joy. And it's like, this is what we're doing. Keep it confidential. It's been a couple months now, keeping it confidential. Um, and so, yeah, so it's just like, we need you and this is why we need you. And there you go. That's so cool. You know, and I know you're not a big brag, but isn't that a cool feeling when the people that are real big decision makers and you're a decision maker too, but they're calling you and you're going to help to change people's lives. I mean, you're not looking for those kudos, but it's, it's probably a great feeling, right? I'll tell you what was a really good feeling. The good feeling is knowing that the work and stuff that you do and that you're kind of known for. So I know I knew Joy and her family from HSN. The fact that that can transcend mm. once you're gone. Um, and, and true story was just on with Joy earlier this morning. And she made the statement about her lines are blurred. Blurred in that you might be my business associate. I know you professionally, but I take time to know you personally mm. as well. And so her lines are very blurred. And I love that. I, you know, we all kind of have our, you know, I'll call them if I need them for this and I'll call them if I need them for this, but often we need them for multiple buckets and to have that group of people that you can kind of go to. Yes. That made me feel really good that I was one of those people kind of in her Rolodex that she's like, yeah, I think I need to go out to her and have a conversation with her. So yeah, felt pretty good. Yeah. Super proud of you. That is so great. And, you know, and, and some people they're listening to this, but they might not realize, I mean, you've touched thousands of products, right? I mean, I, 
you know, I have to tell you, and, and that's one of the things that Joy and I talked about at first is that that passion that's deep down inside. You know, I've worked for the Walt Disney Company. I worked for them for 15 years and I absolutely loved working for Disney. I was able to make incredible concepts that today people are still enjoying. So if you've ever been to the Bippity Boppity Boutique or the Pirates League, if you ever traded a pin on a lanyard, if you bought Duffy the Disney Bear, if you went to Goofy's Candy Company, all of those, my concepts. And so they're still alive and going today. And there's a lot of joy that's from that. Whenever I go and I see somebody wearing something that I created or developed, or they talk about an experience they had, it really makes you feel good. But the thing that I think has stayed with me the most was my time at HSN when I literally could go out. And Carmen, this is how, my gosh, this is also how we met. I could go out and look and find incredible products and then bring them on air, give them that national audience and watch how someone's entire life has been changed. I mean, there were people, we, we created millionaires. Mm -hmm. I mean, we literally created millionaires and people who were like, I have been scraping my whole life or, or I have to work because I don't have a healthy 401k. And then they're like, I just quit my job. I put money in my bank. I'm going to go move to Australia. True story for one of our entrepreneurs. Always <laughs> wanted to live in Australia. She retired as a school teacher and moved to Australia. Just those types of stories and those types of life changing yeah. moments are really what has made me tick. Yeah. Yeah. And you're about to do it again. That's what I love about it. I know. I know. I know. And I get to do it with joy. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, no doubt. I mean, you know, I mean, if I'm you're going to take somebody with you, this that's the person. It's going to be joy. <laughs> that is so true. So, so oh, real my. quick, uh, and, and I know we got a few minutes. Uh, what kind of products are we looking at here? Is I mean, anything. So again, as long as it can't be an idea, it can't be a prototype. It has to be physical product. So yeah. let's just, no, I want to make sure I say that very clear because in the submissions that I have been receiving, and we are now on our second week of receiving submissions, there's an awful lot of ideas and they're great. And I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, squish somebody's dream. It's just, they can't make it for the show because again, Part of the show is selling it live in front mm -hmm. of an audience, right? So, um, so when you talk about products, I would probably tell you that there are a few things that we aren't going to do, and that might help a little bit. We're we're not going to do anything that's in the beverage category, okay. um, just mainly because of shipping, shelf stable. We're not going to be doing any fresh foods. So, if someone has a uh, a, a, a basket of vegetables, obviously, we're, we're, because we have to ship and we have to mail out and all that sort of stuff. Preservatives, things that are prepackaged, things that are shelf stable, um, absolutely things. Uh, obviously not frozen goods as well. So when you just kind of take out those little nuggets of category, everything else, cool. pets, tech, apparel, accessories, wow. gadgets, hardware, beauty, you name it. It is all on board. Wow. You guys are going to be busy. I'm not. We are. <laughs> we already are. <laughs> you're you're opening the floodgates here. Woo. I'm like, oh my gosh. But we had one review with the network already and they are beyond thrilled, beyond thrilled. So um, I just had my second review this morning of last week's stuff with Joy. Um, just it's, it's wonderful. And I have to tell you, for every single one of the reviews I go through, she pauses and she wants to know about the entrepreneur and she wants to know about his or her story. And she wants to know how they were hit by COVID. She wants to know, you know, ha have they attempted to have be anywhere? Get she wants to know because she really, truly, truly does want to feel as though she's helping. Wow, that's, that's, that's so amazing. And yeah. you, you get that feeling when you see her on TV or when she's on, but, but it's so great. Listen, everyone loves to make money. I love to make money and she does, but, but it's so great that she also wants that background, that story. It's a great feeling. Yeah, absolutely. She wants to know them. And, and there's no doubt that between now and when the first show airs, she'll be getting to know every one of them. That is just the type <laughs> of person that she is. You're going to be I like, mean, you'll be okay. in a little role of that. You're going to be like, okay, okay, let's get to this. <laughs> I want to talk to him. <laughs> 
because we know, I mean, we deal with inventors all the time and, and there could be a story. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh there's always a story. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there is always a story, my friend. Yeah. We all know this. There's always a story. Yeah. And we can say that because we're inventors too, but there's yes. always a story that and that kind of makes it fun also. <laughs> it does. It really does. And you know what? The story, this is the thing. The story does not have to be, I lost my home and I lived in my car and I, I did not know where my next meal was coming from. Sure. And I'm not diminishing those stories because I have to tell you they are there and they are real. Yep. But I want the people who don't have that type of struggle and grit and desperation to know that's not a, a prerequisite for this. That, that, that's not it. There are people who say, I literally went home and was like, why wasn't this invented? And I grabbed my hot glue gun and my duct tape and I put it around my shovel and I made this. And then they're like, and then my friends were like, that's really cool. You should make more of them. And so I, I did. Like to me, that's innovation. That is someone who's saying, I have a problem and nothing exists out there for me to solve it with. I'm going to create what to solve it with. Like, mm. that's brilliant. That is, and that's exactly Joy's story with the mop. When she had to clean up the broken glass, she, she, she's like, I'm cutting my hands. This is the only thing I have to do. So she invented something that would help her. At that point, though, that's where everybody's story usually comes together, which is regardless of how I got here, I, I just need someone to listen to me. I just need someone to open up the door. Awesome. That's great. That's awesome. So we're going to start close up the show. So what, what do people do? How do they, how do they get in, get in on this? Here is what they do. All right. They go to apply America's big deal.com. All one word apply America's with an S big deal dot com. Okay. Awesome. Okay. And we'll put, and you we'll know what? Yeah. Not only that, but there's a lot of stuff you have to write in there. Start your first line with, Hey, Carmine. And I'll know they came from your listeners and I'll <laughs> okay. be looking for them. Cause if they're your listeners, I know that they have good products. I've seen some of them. Yeah, well, so we're going to push it out. We're also going to, um, you know, we're part of the UIA. You you are also um, on the board of the UIA. We're going to start pushing it out because I think that this is exactly what the UIA and inventors and organizations stand for, giving out these people to get them to get to that big break instead of just sitting back and going, nothing good ever happens to me. Well, this can happen to you. It's real. It's real, people. Yeah, so, so cool. Well, listen, as usual, Dara, it's great talking with you. Um, I would love to set up another uh, podcast maybe in a week or two just to kind of get some background on what's happening and, and talk about, you know, you know, what's going on with the show and maybe we follow up. But, you know, this is a, this is a, when you told me about it, I didn't get really this is a big deal. <laughs> Hello, it's America's big deal. Yeah. Yes, this is a big deal. There has never been a program like this. This is live. I mean, yes, you've got your HSN and your QVC, which is live television, you know, and selling. But but that's even strategically formulated at right times and right days and right audience. Put that aside. This is giving real entrepreneurs who have maybe have had no exposure at all to maybe have just some exposure, even to maybe I've sold a lot on my website. Doesn't matter. Giving them the real opportunity to go on air and not only sell their products, but to have an audience of people who can change their life, this, this has never been done before. And so that's why the network, Joy, myself, we are all so excited about it because it is literally gonna be feel good television. You're gonna see backstories about all of them. You're gonna give the chance to buy the product. And by the way, it's during the largest gift giving time of our country, right? October, November, and December. Mm -hmm. So it's perfectly timed, perfectly timed for Americans to feel like I'm going to put my dollars back into our own community and into helping. That is what I'm going to do. So I, I love it. I, I just love that it's never been done before. And I love the fact that Joy's the one doing it. Yeah. Well, 
I love that you're involved in it. I love that also her kids are involved, which is really cool. The first time I hear about that. And obviously, Joy's the icing on the cake. It's really cool. Also, all kinds of products, the sales side of it. There's a lot of good things going on. Like I said, I'll, I'll, I'll be truthful. I was like, yeah, what's this thing? I got to talk to Dara about it. This is huge. And I can't wait to tell people about it. It is really big. Yay. Now, the bigger thing I will say to you is right now, I don't have the final deadline of when we're going to close submissions. I'm going to tell you it's probably going to be somewhere around maybe the third week in June. So every single week I review every Wednesday, I review the applications from the week before. Mm. So you need to get them in because at some point we may either have had too many. We might've had enough that are so good. The show was closed. You don't want to, you don't want to risk that. And again, I don't have the deadline date, but for right now, let's just say it's third week of June, but the bigger message is get something in now. Yeah, no doubt. And I'm glad you said that because a lot of us know that when you or I, we we open a flood, we open and ask for stuff, the floodgates open. There are people don't realize there's a lot of inventors, a lot of people with ideas out there. So get your applications in, do it as soon as you can, because, you know, there's only so many we can look at, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I look at them all. Yes. So I, I have a team. Let's just be clear. I will be honest about that. Um, but we look at every single wow. one. <laughs> you got to tell me every some of the them. some of the stories. <laughs> every one of them. Every one of them. I love it. I yeah. love that. You know, again, being an inventor, I know that some odd ones sometimes come in. So yeah, it is. Well, it is that's cool. that's why I kind of started it at first by saying no prototypes or <laughs> napkins. I literally have photographs of people's napkins, which is so great. I mean, I'm loving that. You know, they're little doodling and they're drawing. I'm like, that is so good. And I'm like, well, maybe they just wanted to show me how it started, right? And I'm going to eventually see a picture of how it ended. No. Yeah, no, uh uh-uh, uh, in progress. <laughs> <laughs> Real inventory, get going. If you don't have the inventory, you got to get it. So, all cool yeah. stuff. And if you don't have the inventory, you're going to want to get it because you're going to want to be on season two. That's right. Yeah. Uh, that's what's so great about it. I mean, being able to sell live on TV. I mean, we're talking about life changing, no doubt about it. Life changing. You're talking millions of people tuning in to watch you and then to potentially buy your product. So like, cool. It's crazy. So it's absolutely cool. crazy. All right, Dara. As usual, it's been awesome. Um, great yeah. news. Really cool, exciting stuff. I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we'll be pushing this out, letting everyone know, all you inventors out there, if you aren't ready, get ready. Tell your friends, tell your other inventors, product developers about this because it is going to be big. And we yes. will catch you uh, next time on the Launch Network. Thank you to Dara, and we will be signing up. You all take care.